Good morning and welcome to Hike 360. I am at a new national park this morning, the Capitol Reef National Park. I'm outside the visitor center right now. And if you spin around, there's a lot, lot here already uh, between the trees, which are a beautiful rarity for this area to the, the rocks that make the area. So uh, I'm gonna be driving the scenic route. It's only about eight miles. The national park goes north, south for a hundred miles and it follows what they call a water fold. So apparently 50 to 250 million years worth of geological time, this basically straight line north-south, uh, the plates lifted this area, lifted the entire Colorado basin, uh, anywhere from three to 7,000 feet but in this particular area, instead of breaking, the mountains breaking off, they folded and created uh, a shelf. And that's what this national park is based on. Really interesting. Yesterday I was at um, Great Basin National Park. And basically, you know, the Great Basin is all of Nevada from the Sierra Nevadas all the way through to about here. And I really didn't know what the dividing line was. And, I'm not sure what the dividing line is to be uh, certain, but this makes a lot of sense that this would be the dividing line between the watershed to the west of us remaining where it is and the watershed to the east, which gets you into uh, canyon lands and arches, the Moab area. That All that water, of course, goes into the Green River and the Colorado River that makes its way down. South of here, you got Lake Mead. Uh, that water goes all the way down the Gulf of uh, California, Baja's California area, and the Colorado River again. So this Great Basin area, well, you know, what kind of creates that eastern border? Man, this is as good a guess as I have, uh, that that waterfall just sort of creates a hundred miles straight up and down barrier. That's a good start. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be uh, driving down the scenic route, like I say, most it's, you know, this is a great camping site. Again, stars are gonna be fantastic. Uh, I was out last night looking at the stars, unbelievable. I mean, the new, I've got the uh, three shutter iPhone, so that's, I don't know, 14 or something like that. Um, it took great shots of the stars and I kept zooming in and getting more and more stars. Uh, it was incredible. I've never taken a picture where I could zoom in and just get more stars. Uh, and it got to the point where basically every pixel or every other pixel um, was a star. So that was really cool. And this, this area is just gonna sustain that. Uh, so the highway goes through here, uh, east-west. I'm gonna get back on that in a bit so I can get back up toward the Moab area. But the scenic route goes uh, along this, this water fold uh, south for a little bit. On the other side of the fold, uh, there's a highway that kind of goes all the way to 100 miles down south to get you toward uh, Lake Mead. So there's a lot to do here. A lot to see and it's incredible. so I've started the scenic route here and uh, it is a pay route I don't know how far I'm gonna go <laughs> but the scenery is still just tremendous uh, there are a lot of turnouts there's a lot of organized camping dispersed camping along the sides the town out front uh, before the, the National Park has a couple of gas stations and some hotels so there are facilities around here and if you really dig this kind of landscape, um, this could be a fun place to go. So I'm on a, one of the nature walks, and uh, I like this because we're next to the river. It's, I, I just love river action, but there's deer right up ahead. Well, hopefully I got the deer on camera. <laughs> They got a number of these uh, <clears throat> walks here. Very interesting. I'm finally out hiking. This is what I like. Whew. Very interesting how these rocks change colors. So I mentioned this folded. Uh, instead of breaking when the plates went underneath. 
but this looks like it's all broken of course that's what 50 year 50 million years of erosion will give you but it's still pretty much a natural boundary and uh, the thing we always always have to remember is you know we look at our climate today and uh, you know the rains and things like that and yes they cause erosion but the things that carve out uh, this these types of valleys are from glacier melts ice age melts where the volume of water is 10 to 50 times what we're looking at here or more so when you start thinking about the river being you know completely filling this whole valley and flowing well that's going to do some carving all right the parking lot it's a big parking lot filled uh, surprisingly this park gets a lot more visitors than i thought it would a lot more than great basin and uh great basin i think is a is a neater park uh if i'm going to do around here i highly recommend canyonland and arches to the east and then head on down to zion this is a an interesting kind of middle park but uh despite the parking lot being filled this was a trail that uh short one where everybody goes and then a longer one where i'm going you want to get away from the people and take the longer one because <laughs> everyone's going to go for the shorter nobody knows what they're going to see it's all kind of the same thing right you know that's a bridge a natural bridge and this is going to be some other rock formation that i'm going to get to but i like the hike not having people is a bonus well i'm glad there's no rain in the forecast I can see this being a slip sliding away scenario in a flash flood. Oh, okay, well, they don't want you going up the riverbed. Really cool. Yeah, I haven't done Zion yet. Uh, and that's where you, know, you get a lot of these close to the water. Of course, there's a trail that is in water. You go up the stream. Ryan will get me over there. They've got uh, some trail running events that I'm sure he will do and I will join him for the crewing, cheer him on. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave you with this view just cause it's kind of neat. Capitol Reef National Park. I gotta believe that the Capitol Reef concept came from the fact that, you know, 100 million or 200 million years ago, this was ocean. This uh, area has undergone an extreme geological change. It's been ocean, it's been shoreline, it's been a desert, it's a desert again, it's been, you know, tropical, it's had everything. And, uh, you know, maybe they're calling it a reef for that matter. Didn't really explain it in the movie. So I'll leave you with this. Thanks for tuning in. Hike 360. Don't forget to catch me at Swiss Cheese Trails for my international hiking. Whew. I'll be heading over there in a week.